Okay, what's up? I'm gonna try to review uh, Finding Dory. Uh, I okay, I see. I saw Finding Nemo. I don't think I've seen it that many times, but I saw it at the cinemas. I like it, and I think um, I think Finding Nemo, uh, Finding Dory is a masterpiece. So I think it's awesome. So I give it ten out of ten. It's actually very moving, and I think it's really creative and <laughs> funny as well. Very hilarious, and it's you know there's some movies you watch and they seem very heavy or weighted i found with finding nemo i found it compared i've loved all the other disney movie, uh pixar movies up to that point i was a huge fan monsters inc the toy story movies a bug's life i think is really underrated um the finding nemo i still really liked i still my rating that i gave it was 10 out of 10 because pixar is so consistent the, the amount of detail and the graphics um like the just the visuals the look of it uh, again, the, all the creativity, the little things they put in, the standard is so high, and the stories are very heartfelt, and they don't shy away from those moments, and just giving it justice, not just going for easy laughs, I think Cars and Cars 2 are maybe not as good, but anyway, Finding Nemo, I did feel there was sort of a flaw, it felt overly dramatic or sad, and deliberately pulling at your heartstrings, and I didn't, I felt slightly uncomfortable with that, I think that's why I haven't really watched it, since then, but Finding Dory, I felt more like I'd like to watch it again, and again, and again, like I, I really liked it, um, so let's see, there's a few things, I wanted to point out, it's got two of my, uh, I think, favorite characters ever, Gerald, the, uh, <laughs> the seal that's like, sort of, um, <laughs> he's sort of half cross iron, uh, can't do the face, but, <laughs> He's one of the funniest characters I think ever. If I could get like a poster of him in my room, that would be so good. <laughs> I can't stop laughing, but he's just yeah. This little I I guess I'm uh before I spoil it, I should maybe try to give yeah. I just I think it's awesome. You should watch it. So I'm gonna spoil the movie, but um yeah. There's a couple of seals, and then <laughs> they're very uh controlling of the rock they're on or whatever. Um can't think of the word um <laughs> but just his face is hilarious and he just wants to get on the rock and then the way he just drifts away um the little bird is hilarious as well that i forget its name but it's just kind of insane this weird pigeon that's like kind of edgy but the other so gerald was one of the characters the other character is dory when she's a child i don't know if she's i guess she's just a little girl a little kid a little fish um she was the most adorable character ever. So I think Boo is kind of cute in Monsters, Inc. But she's got nothing on Dory. Um, it's so adorable. And there's parts where her parents are saying, Hey, we're going to pretend we're the other kids at school. You need to learn how to deal with your memory problem. And, and she's like, okay, Daddy. No, 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 no. I'm one of the kids at school. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so something we've got to get to is her memory problem. I think... It reminds me a bit of Memento, where what I felt watching that movie uh, later on was realizing it's not just about, like I said this with The Lost Weekend as well, it's not just about memory loss or The Lost Weekend about alcoholism, it's about something more universal. I think everyone has a memory problem, um, just not to the same degree. Um, in Memento, he has an extreme memory problem, he can only remember the past few minutes, which is sort of the same idea as Dory. Dory is even more extreme. Everyone has that issue that we can't remember everything and we do forget things from our childhood that are important to us. Some people lose track of who they are and they become something they shouldn't have been. Um, but anyway, so I think once you understand that, it, maybe it can be mildly annoying at the start when she's constantly got a problem, but that's just the character. Um, that's who she is. Um, so let me see. I really liked one detail is as she learns... I saw it a few weeks ago, so I might have forgotten some things. But as she learns about her childhood, it's not not every one of those things she remembers. She sort of has a moment and clicks. Not all of them actually help. They don't all progress the story, but that's not... I mean, they don't progress the plot. And that's... But she keeps thinking about them anyway and says them out loud. And I think the focus is more on her journey, her discovering, oh, there was that place and... Um, oh, we used to, I mean, I can't remember the details, but none of it helps her get any closer, but that's not why she's excited. She's excited that she's remembering something and that it means something to her 
and it gives us these bits and pieces, patches that put together a story. And it is a meaningful story. I thought, um, I remember the same thing happened with Brave. I thought I can predict what would happen and it didn't take the direction I thought it would. Brave ended up being really good. I was worried oh, it's just going to be this very, I don't know why I doubted Pixar at all, but with this movie, I also thought, okay, Dory's going to go back. She's going to sort of find her parents, or she'll find out that her parents are lost, that she'll never see them again, and that she'll learn she was with her family all along, Nemo and Marlin, and that that's what family is. But it wasn't just that. It was much more significant. The part where it's, there's a lot of moving parts that I think are done really well, again, on an adult level, or any level, um, as a human being, as, as a living thing, you can experience these things. When she finds out or believes that her parents have died and it sort of goes slow motion, things go blurry and we see everything from her point of view, that the feeling of like the carpet being drawn out from underneath you, I thought that was really realistic and kind of scary and heartbreaking, moving. And it's very smart that the movie does that, that it has that moment and yet later on she gets to meet her parents and that's equally moving. Um, but yeah, I felt terrible and I felt really affected. I think everyone can relate to that where you find something out. It could be you really like someone and then you find out they don't like you at all and then it's just that feeling of like slow motion like your heart's being pulled out of your chest or something or yeah if you're really excited in this case to find your parents again and then you find out oh they're dead. They're, I'm never going to see them again. That feeling of hopelessness or instant loss where you might feel sick, like you're going to vomit, or it captures that really well. But without it being too heavy, it's still just a nice, beautiful movie. And then, yeah, later when she finds the, sh the shells, the, like there's all these rows, and I was like, that's weird, is that what I think it is? And then you start, think, I don't know, time slows down. In fact, the part before that, though, as well, I want to comment, there's a part where Dory's, like, completely lost, and she's just talking to herself, and she's like, what do I do, what do I do, and I just think that's, again, a universal thing. I, I don't want to read too much into it, but when you when you go through big things in life, you know, you have a, a really, you know, it's, a death occurs in a family, or just something, you lose a job, something major, a major change in your personal life, sometimes you can feel lost and you can just think okay okay where where do I start from here what do I do what have I got and it's that's to me that's what that moment is when she's just looking around and she can't see anything in the ocean and then she sort of sees some I guess coral or whatever and she's like or kelp whatever and she goes towards that it's like the only thing she knows and I think that's what we do as humans whatever we have the only thing we can latch on to we just we go with that um you know, and then just, just one step at a time, she starts pulling things together and trying to do something. I don't know. Anyway, she finds the shells. I've probably been really vague right now. And follows the shells and then <laughs> sees her parents in the distance. And we want to believe that it's real, but we don't know. Is it just an imagination, a vision? Is it another memory? And then it's a real moment. And I like how they there's this part where she's in between her two parents and her parents cuddle up to her. And it's kind of a cliched image, but... It's done so sincerely, a lot like with all the Lord of the Rings moments, the acting, the dialogue, a lot of it's like, it just seems really typical, but it's done so heartfelt that you don't, it, it completely works, you know, you don't have to be so cynical. It can be beautiful and it can be moving. Um, and yeah, that part is really nice. And, and also just the story concept that they, they did the smartest thing, which is basically to try to sort of find Dory, but she, they couldn't find her there, so they thought, we'll stay in this area where we think she went missing, and then we'll set up lots of shells, because she knows she likes shells, and she should follow shells. I like shells. <laughs> I remember she said to the little fish, um, and then tries to lead them there. And the, the fact that they're so devoted over time that they keep bringing more shells there is deeply moving. And that... There's no extra complexity. They're just a sort of purely loving family. Another part that's moving is when th the way she goes missing, which we find out step by step, and then the guilt she feels. Um, I think everyone can relate to that, even if it's not 
losing your parents. It could just be getting lost in life and then having a time later where you think I messed up and people are saying, no, it's okay, it's not your fault. It, that can happen, you were trying your best. It's very tricky, but yeah, when she overhears her mum crying because how is her daughter going to cope? And again, that could be, you could interpret it so many different ways, not just a memory problem. Anyone could worry about the child, um, you know, might have some, a, any kind of difference that they're a little bit, um, I don't know, shorter or they look a bit different or, you know, um, I'm trying to think. And even if it's not no particular problem, you, at a certain point your child gets to a certain age, you get nervous, how are they going to cope? You know, they're going to high school now or they're going to school, they're going to be without us. A lot of kids cry on the first day of kindergarten, but whatever, just like the parents care about that and they can sometimes maybe feel sad and worried about what can they do. And then Dory, you know, wants to make her happy and goes out and finds a pink shell or whatever, purple shell, and then gets caught up. It's very moving and then she feels guilty. Uh, anyway, it's, I think that stuff is uh, really well done. Um, okay, and another thing I like is finding Dory is very uh, sort of different from Finding Nemo. It has a few characters in common, but it's a completely original story that just... And the title, I guess, is kind of ironic. It's not... Dory doesn't go missing. It's we're finding out who she is. And uh, it's kind of a separate movie, but it's just an original idea. But I think it's really moving and really good, really nice. But anyway, I should talk about some of the comedy. I think it's really hilarious. I really like the octopus. Uh, <laughs> the... <laughs> Just, there's a lot of physical humour, there's a touch pull, and the, it's like a horror thing where the kids reach in and pull the <laughs> starfish away. When it cuts outside, it's just kids, you know, playing and everything, but then for the fish, uh, it's terrifying. I really like the two, uh, one of them's a dolphin, and I guess one's like a whale fish, or I, I don't know what they were, but the, <laughs> the one that can use sonar, and a, <laughs> that he could... Actually, it's like Daredevil, and you can actually see in, in the distance, you can see a truck moving, you can see through pipes using his sonar. I thought that was hilarious, and the character names is funny. I forget what it was, but there's some kind of pun involving it, and the fact that the... Anyway, a lot of that detail I like, and um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like, the whole story just is fun along the way. I think they make it look effortless, but there's a lot of detail I, I keep saying that i don't know how to like the way the fish jump between tank to tank it's just a creative idea i can't remember if some of the same sort of stuff is in finding nemo or not but um anyway um one thing i really liked is there's a few times where they seem to run into like a male and female fish and then <laughs> they, they try to help but then the the man is not the the wife says to the man, you know, you're being no help today. That happens like a few times. I find that really funny, the way they talk to each other. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, the the visuals are really nice. I, I remember liking the music a lot, but I, I can't remember it specifically. Um, I just think the way it plays out, it really builds your uh, anticipation, and you really care about. Dory really wants to know where she came from and she clearly loves her parents a lot and it's like she can sense that and it's kind of a nice idea that even with her memory problems she's able to uh, remember those things again and she's come up with uh, coping mechanisms there's a part where Marlon makes a comment that's kind of insensitive and then he feels bad and then the way it gets resolved I think is really nice um, I, I don't know I think the whole thing is very mature so anyway I think it's an awesome movie but yeah, really deeply moving, and not just a, it like can apply to a lot of universal human emotions and things that, the most difficult things in life that we go through, a bit like Inside Out, which I think touches on, I don't know, things like depression maybe, or even just any change in life, losing hope or losing your belief in something, you know, a hobby that you used to have that you used to love, and then you start, you know, and the way people... Uh, police themselves and we police each other with being um uh you know you can't be silly but that's in inside out i just think similarly finding dory is just anything to do with any any weakness really that you have not just memory but anything that means you can't quite fit in that you can't 
uh, live up to the standards or anything that separates you from your family somehow not necessarily physically but it could also be emotionally i'm sure there's cases where people run away from home or there's a disconnect and then trying to resolve that trying to um backtrack and find who you are anyway i don't know if i'm reading too much into it i think it's yeah the the thing what's good about it is even if you don't notice all that stuff it's a h- incredibly entertaining movie in between that and it's um very original as well and yeah just really creative really colorful so anyway i'll leave it there 10 out of 10 for me easily for finding dory bye